We're on a mission to get anyone coding, and we're gonna start that journey and show you what that, what that looks like with a short video. Try a different path. Tr okay. Choose a different start and hold. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it with start. Go. And it's easy to go. It is hard. It's it's like this. Now. Did you hear that? This is harder. It's like this now. He actually wants to make it harder on himself. This isn't an entertainment toy. This is a robot. He actually wants to make it harder on himself. This isn't an entertainment toy. This is a robot that's fun and engaging, just like a toy. But he's learning and he's problem solving and he's challenging himself. And we're going to see a little demo of the journey Elliot started. This is Elliot's program. This is our interface. It's as simple as touching and dragging blocks, adding them wherever you want. You can touch, rotate, you can move. It's a graphical language, and Elliot doesn't even know how to know how have to read. He can just touch, he can just play. And this is what we call level one. You can make edits. You can change colors of the robot. And then you, when Elliot reaches the limits of level one, his code converts into level two. It's a new interface, it's new, it's different, it's more complicated. He now has to know how to read. He now has precision control of what he's doing. He can add things like music. Oops, let's add that down here. Change it to, I don't know, X. Oh, but now we want to challenge ourselves even further. Let's go to level three. Elliot is in Swift code, in the same syntax, the same syntax that iOS is programmed in. Oh my god, he here he can do whatever he wants. He's now understanding a life skill. He can apply this, but it's really not about coding, it's about problem solving. He's becoming a better problem solver. So, the thing with Root is that not everybody has a whiteboard in their house, but we want our kids to code, so we, in the box, put a fold-out whiteboard. You can just simply lay it out on a table, and you can start your journey with Root and a marker and an eraser and start doing things and, get, and playing games. Or, if you happen to have a whiteboard at home or you're in school, Root sticks to whiteboards. <laughs> And this is an important feature because on whiteboards you can really empower the drawing aspect of Root. And we have 50 sensors and actuators that you can play with with the drawing and controlling the marker. When you touch the top of Root, for instance, you can have it start a program. Or Root has a color sensor, can lift and drop markers. Or you can use the iPad as a controller. You can use program on level one to control driving. <laughs> so with Root, we want to take you on a mission to explore other programs that people make around the world. Simply load them up and go on a mission of your creativity and imagination. Because with Root, it's not about learning how to code. It's about imagining what you want to do and see that code come to life on the robot. And don't worry, whiteboards are completely safe. <laughs> That's it. So I have to say, uh, I have seen millions and millions of Teach Kids to Code products, and they often involve, you know, bees, and you put arrows, and the thing has a camera on the bottom. What I haven't seen before is converting from level to level. That's really the breakthrough, right? There's lots of breakthroughs in Root. I mean, I mean, this. I was programmed by a PR person. <laughs> So, the, the, uh, what's, what's your name? Raphael? Raphael yeah. was not programming. He was just goofing off. Actually, right. it's a program that we created. Yeah, I'll show you Raphael's program. Just one, one second. Yeah. I can go right into Explore. You were just using it as a steering wheel. Yeah, but it's not just using it as a steering wheel because we want to find, kids find the experiences with Root. So, if you go to the screen, everybody can see the show, the, um, the iPad that I, I have here. But this is the program for Tilt Drive. Raphael 
coded that experience. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. So that actually was a program. Yes. Uh, it seems to work really well in your promo video with the kid on the left. The kid on the right was not <laughs> catching on. <laughs> well, you know, not all kids are created equal, but what's amazing about you is that, is that no, it, no, come on, it's the truth. You can always be an artist. It's the truth. Let's, 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 let's be honest. But we've tested Root with kids of different levels, and what's interesting about drawing and coding is that you can do simple things and learn great concepts, or you can, if you're mastering those, you can make them more and more complicated. So Elliot happened to be learning faster, so he's ready to challenge himself faster. That's not a problem. Some people get hung up on things, and we've tested Root with hundreds of kids in second and third grade. And you know what the teacher told me that was very, very interesting? She came up to me and she whispers in my ear, if I pointed out to you which kid is the problem kid, can you tell me? Oh. And she's like, you can't, because all the kids are quiet and they're engaged with the robot. Wow. So it, it develops social skills too. Teacher's lounge time. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> So, so what is the master plan? Is it, is it for sale? Is it getting investments? Is it still a prototype? So uh, it is uh, for sale on codewithroot.com. Wow. We're shipping this June. We did a Kickstarter last year. Oh, how did that turn out? We, rose, uh, we raised $400,000 in a month. Wow. Took that. So uh, we're excited about that. And you know, the, I'm a parent of three daughters. I have uh, Bella, Maya, and Abra. Six, you are surrounded, nine, dude. Uh, seriously. <laughs> Um, and this is important to me because as a parent I feel the pain point because I mean fortunately I like many people in the audience know how to code but my school doesn't teach that and um, my school teaches math so I'm not really worried about what Harvard that. doesn't teach coding? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no. At Yale they taught coding. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong with the air conditioner? <laughs> oh, we're out of time, Richard. <laughs> anyway, well, I hope it's a huge success because the central problem that you're try trying to solve, which is this is a fundamental, this is reading, writing, and coding is what kids need to know from kindergarten on. Yes. So congratulations with what you've done, and I hope it's huge. Thank you. Thank you.